Hi, I'm Tinstro. I'm going to talk you through my gameplay as I play. So this will be interesting. It could go either way. So I'm going to play the tier 3 Russian aircraft carrier. It's PvP. So let's... Um, See what happens, see what we get. I'll tell you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it as I play. There's a few people that don't um, know how to play carriers correctly. I don't say I, I'm one of them. I could be doing it all wrong, I could be doing it partly right, who knows? But this is how I do it. So when we load in, See, we've got a squadron on the deck. We should two squadrons, really. Yep. Eight HE bombers and eight torpedo bombers. They go off in tacks of four, and all the planes in the group attack in one go. So, I do recommend using your autopilot, which is holding square on any of these squares on the map. But at the moment, I'm not going to do that. We have one, two, three, four destroyers. Those quick little buggers can be a pain in the backside. So let's see what we can see before we make any moves. Also, I'm going to pay attention top left mini map and see where my teammates are going since I am playing by myself. So if you've got a teammate that's playing a cruiser, a battleship, sort of. You can roughly go the same direction, providing a bit more air cover. State crew uh, carriers make a just going backwards, not getting close enough to the action. It takes forever for planes to get anywhere. And you've got torpedo bombers coming across. Keep an eye on the map, Keep see where they're going anywhere close to me. So the German carrier has AP bombers, which are designed for bigger targets. There he is. There's two of them. So notice this first one isn't got AA fire on. So I attack him first. Back to your aircraft. Launch the second squadron. As your others return, they should get shot down on their return flight. Mistake destroyers make is uh, they pop smoke, hide in smoke, leaving the AA guns attacking, so you've got a rough idea where to aim for when you're flying across. You see the white circle, which you target. Now I'm getting attacked. So I'm going to go Autopilot here. mode enabled. I'm not going to worry too much about the torpedoes. I will get hit, possibly. As you see, I'm shooting down their planes. Another mistake. Carriers make us taking out other carriers. They are heavily armed with AA guns. There you go, this guy's AA fire. Yeah, and I hit him. So I've only got two planes left on my dis uh, bombers, so I'm switching to torpedo bombers. Not great for hunting down destroyers, but. Some, some grief. See what's about. Your great triangle here is your uh, aiming thing. I generally start diving 
four to three kilometers away from target to get under their AA fire. If the, uh, if the bigger the tar target battleships cruisers, they generally have harder hitting AA and flat guns. Some of the smaller ships and the aircraft fire is now the, the flak is the big black clouds from the explosions in the air. Let's see if we can get close to this Wyoming uh, and see if we can get some uh, deep water torpedoes launched from our destroyer there. We might give this Wyoming a surprise. See, I'm 4k away. There's your AA fire. Those black explosions, that's try to avoid flying through those at all costs because that would damage the whole squadron. AA fire in general picks on one plane at random and it randomly switches while you're in their AA sectors. Four nice hits there, switch back to bombers. Three. They've only got one destroyer left. We killed him flooding. Let's in see. Also with those torpedo bombers, you notice they've got a big yellow patch when you start diving. That's how long it takes for the torpedoes to arm. As you see on the mini map in the bottom left corner, that's where the um, aircraft carrier is hiding. So I'm going to move away because there's a destroyer coming from the seaside and it looks like he's going around the back. So he may try to sneak up on me. I'm using my engine boost cooldown just to not lose sight of that because that might happen. 5k, starting my run, 5 seconds to target, drop in. Nice. You can wipe out a destroyer with one hit from these planes. Unfortunately the video I uh, hadn't shared with a friend, I deleted. again. Uh, and he's just disappeared so it's not quite quick enough to get here but there you go. AA fire again. Just dodge it or just dive. You don't have to actually target the... Concentrate fire on the designated target. Enemy. Serious, you can't take that little carrier out right next to it. I try. There you go, he's gone. So that destroyer's heading over to me, no doubt. And he spotted me. See the bottom left of my uh, health bar. You can see the um, eye symbol. Say so yes. Seen my ship. My uh, secondary fire's got about 5k range. So there you go. AA fire. Diving under most of it. He's going to get hit by deep water torpedoes. That orange section of torpedoes army. If that hits the ship while it's in the orange sector, those torpedoes would just do nothing. Enemy battleship destroyed. So. He's 7k away from me. Samson, not sure on the range of his torpedoes, but I'm just going to keep moving away. Heading towards my allies. And give him some grief while I'm at it. 1.5k, start the target run. Drop at the bow. And gonna launch 
go and maybe turn away. I think just because I think he may have launched torpedoes, but we'll see that them in the water as soon as we run. Looks like he's just using shells. Again, if you're on uh, in a team and you see torpedoes in the water while you're um, flying, you can warn your teammates. Hit him again. Let's try again. Let's change direction. Yeah, he's gone. Nice work. Nice work. Bring you closer to the action. Go up over the mountain. I owe you one. There you go, some A fire, big sir. explosions, avoid flying through them. See my bombers are going up, up high altitude, but they've been wiped out before they get any high. So he's on fire, he's burning. So let's uh, see if we can finish him here. Torpedoes are not armed. If he's in the orange, he's slowing. Let's see what we get. Sorry, my dude. Nice one to end on. Any questions, any comments, feel free to ask. We want any um, other tutorials, videos, tips, please, please, please just mention in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. I'm still new to this, so this will be uh, interesting learning for all of us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.